Hello everybody. Welcome to the market news update for April 18, 2018 from Brokerage Free. Important points to note from yesterday's uh, sessions. Markets managed to extend the bullish run. The markets closed positively for the second consecutive day. We observed a hanging man type of uh, pattern candle uh, for yesterday's uh, trading session. Nifty failed to close above 10,500. The most recent sex registers its longest rally in three years. The foreign institutional investors sold about 951.39 crores worth of shares. Domestic investors sold about 723.81 crores worth of shares. Let's have a quick look at uh, Nifty. Uh, Nifty opened at 10,557 uh, and closed at 10,548. And Nifty closed about uh, 20 points up on the previous close of 10,528. Nifty had an intraday high of uh, 10,560 and a low of uh, 10,495. The support levels for Nifty at this point in time is about uh, 10,510 and 10,470. The resistance levels for Nifty is around 10,575 and 10,600. If uh, Nifty manages to continue bullish momentum. The next possible target for Nifty is about the 10,600. We expect the markets to be volatile today. Today is Akshay Tritya. It is uh, considered an auspicious day uh, to invest in gold or any property, and uh, it is expected to bring good luck uh, to one's own uh, self, friends, and family. Uh, here from Krishi, we are wishing all of you a very happy uh, and prosperous ahead. Year ahead, uh, and a very happy Akshay Tritya. Let's have a look at the, what the hanging man type pattern is. What is the hanging man type pattern? When the open, the high, and the close are on the same price, and the length of the lower shadow is almost twice the length of the body, we we'll actually have a look at the chart and see what this actually means. When open and high are the same, it is called a bearish hanging. Man candle. When the close and high are the same, it is called the bullish hanging man candle. Uh, what does a uh, hanging man type candle mean? Uh, when a hanging man type of uh, uh, candle stick is observed at the top of an uptrend, it can be a warning for a potential trend reversal. It is not still in itself, meaning that uh, when you see a hanging man type pattern, it does not necessarily mean it is going to uh, uh, come down. But it definitely is a, a, a sign that the market may lose momentum and then start to down. Let's have a quick look at the chart from yesterday's uh, trading session as well. Here you can notice Nifty opened at ten thousand five hundred and fifty-seven. The high for Nifty was ten thousand five hundred and sixty, and the closing was ten thousand five hundred and forty-eight. If you notice, all the open, high, and close are all in the same range. However, if you notice the lower uh, point for, for intraday low for Nifty, it is ten thousand four hundred ninety-five, roughly about uh, a little more than sixty uh, points. So, when the low is so uh, uh, different from the open high and the close price, and it is observed on top of a uh, upward trend, this is a bearish hanging man candlestick. Whenever uh, such a uh, candle is formed, basically indicates the bulls are losing momentum. Uh, they have reached an upward most point where they are not able to sustain the bullish momentum. It is coming down from an open of ten thousand five fifty seven. Nifty has come down about seventy points now, and then it managed to pull back and then reach its uh, original opening up price. So uh, this is considered a sign that. Uh, there may be a trend reversal. Uh, so this is what is called a hanging man type pattern. Today we expect the markets may be volatile or maybe even start coming down. But if the markets manage to keep up the bullish trend, it may be able to reach about ten thousand six hundred. Let's have a quick look at the world markets. Uh, the American markets uh, uh, ended largely on a positive note. Uh, Dow Jones is the 500, uh, the Brazil, Canadian, Chile, and Mexico. All these stock indexes uh, are closed in a positive mode. The um, uh, international 
the volatility around the city of Bombay affected by U.S. and its allies. Uh, yes. Seems to have lost their sector this kind of time. The European markets also ended uh, largely on a positive note. Uh, German index closed about 1.57 percent higher, and the Swiss market also closed about more than one percent. We have a look at the Asian markets. Um, except for the Chinese market, all these other markets uh, ended on a positive note, especially the Japanese index uh, closing about one point, uh, around 1.15 percent. The Chinese markets were marginally down, uh, less by about uh, seven points, and with a percentage change of 0.23 percent. Singapore at the at the point of uh, writing this report uh, uh, was up by about 15 points, and uh, with an index of 10,593. So this uh, may indicate that the market may actually open a little higher. Um, Please uh, consider this while making your trading session. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, episode of Market News from uh, Broker Street for April 18, 2019. Invest wisely for a better future. Uh, please be careful with your trade. Good luck to you. Thank you.